Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. I'm Asa and I have another very simple one day build. YouTube gives really good data about video retention and what interests people. And time and time again, one of the most popular parts of my videos is when I put whatever I've built or designed on a little turntable and rotate it so that everybody gets a good 360 degree view. So far, I've mostly used this little turntable that I made for myself, literally out of wood, paper, glue, and one motor that I found. It's time to get a proper turntable, replace the paper and wood one, and instead of buying one online, of course I'll design and build my own. If you want to do this project yourself, I'll put everything you need in the video description, but if you want a turntable, you should probably just buy one online, because this is going to cost three times as much and take way more effort. Like my last video, I actually did most of the design work for this while I was on airplanes during business trips. After the design, I printed up the main parts on my 3D printer, and I'll show you a time lapse before we get to assembly. Build and assembly is really easy. You'll need some 3D printed parts, you'll need some off-the-shelf components, and simple hand tools. first step is attaching a gear and coupler to the motor. This isn't the best design for manufacturability, but oh well. We've got a gear attached to the motor. Next, we'll mount the motor into this base assembly. As you can see, the connection holes are slotted to allow us to fine tune the position of the motor and the gear. This Lazy Susan I got online just press fits directly into the base. Same with the gear. This just press fits directly into the Lazy Susan. You don't need any fasteners. Next, we'll adjust the position of the motor so that the gears have good engagement. Great, it works, now I'll wire it up. Unfortunately, I did crack the ABS while drilling a hole for an on-off switch, but it's fine. I'll just run some epoxy on the inside, no big deal. Good as new. We've got a switch connected. Now I'm just gonna wire in this battery pack and we'll be done. I'm gonna be a little lazy and attach it just using a zip tie and some hot glue.
Well, this turned out really well, and I'm super pleased with it. That's all I've got for you today. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Please like this video if you enjoyed it, and subscribe to my channel if you want more similar content. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.